hello and welcome to 18th JMeter training video tutorial in this section we would have a look at uh, new JMeter built-in reporting which is available from JMeter 3.0 this is a really really uh, good feature available from JMeter 3.0 because uh, so far we had to rely on some plugins to be able to generate some reports from JMeter but now we can generate JMeter uh, report beginning from JMeter 3.0 without using any external plugin. So let's see what we will have a look at in this section. We will see how we can generate reports. We will analyze the reports. We will also see what kinds of different uh, graphs and uh, charts are available. And then we will have a look at uh, some configurations. So let's begin. So to be able to generate report uh, with new JMeter version 3.0, there are two ways to do that. We can either generate report at the end of test run by using command as jmeter.sh hyphen n non GUI mode hyphen t followed by name of the test plan hyphen l followed by name of the log file hyphen e which indicates generate report at the end of the test run and hyphen o followed by name of the output directory. We can also generate test report from an existing log file. For this, we should use jmeter.sh hyphen g name for log file hyphen e name of the output directory so i have already generated report using first command so let me just uh, show you that so this is uh, where i generated report uh, the same command which i read out earlier hyphen n hyphen t name of the project file hyphen l hyphen e o name of the output directory this was a test which was run for about three minutes and uh, once the execution is over the test results or the new report would be saved in the test log folder so let me just open the test log folder and see what we have there yep so when i open the folder i see a couple of directory there and the file which i'm interested in here is index.html this is index.html and this is the janitor report so let's have a look at uh, different sections of this report. So first we will see the dashboard and in dashboard we have test information followed by AppDex which is application performance index. AppDex is one international organization which standardizes how performance test results uh, should be delivered. You can read more about it uh, on Wikipedia, but let's see some of its uh, crucial features. So AppDex uh, is used as an index to represent uh, the response time uh, which uh, user expects from an application. So this is very initial high level indicator of current conditions. So you should not consider only AppDex as your ultimate source of truth, but uh, just one more metrics which you have here. So here we have threshold values which are separated uh, in response time sample according to satisfied, tolerated, and frustrated threshold. And there's a formula to calculate it, but we don't have to worry about that now. Now consider that you find out your threshold, then you can have satisfied count, that is the number of transactions within response time, uh, you have tolerating count wherein users are tolerating the application. It is not really good, but the users are not frustrated also. And then you have frustrated uh, count, which is usually the four times of the threshold count. So here we can see all of these counts for registration, transaction controller, create controller, and uh, welcome page. Okay, following this, uh, we have a few more sections. Uh, for example, uh, we have request summary, but before that, uh, one more thing about the app text is that uh, uh, the values for uh, tolerated and satisfied threshold is something which could be set up in user.properties file and the name of the property is jmeter.reportgenerator.appdex underscore satisfied underscore threshold and appdex underscore tolerated underscore threshold the default values are 500 and 500 milliseconds okay now let's see the next report which is request summary and it shows the percentage count of uh, successful and unsuccessful transactions so we see here we have 50 percent failure and 50 percent uh, success then we have statistics wherein we can see the count of sample the count of not okay count of percentage of errors, percentile which are 90, 95 and 99, 
throughput global per second minimum and maximum response time so this is a summary of overall uh, results for different pages uh, whose performance is to be measured and then we also have error dashboard or error section in the dashboard which display the errors encountered for example uh, the error which we have here is uh, uh, we had seen this in previous section that registration controller fails because of the assertion error and this is the same error which is being uh, displayed uh, here. Alright, uh, so this was about uh, the dashboard section. Now let's see the chart section. So we have three subsections here which is overtime, throughput and response time. So let's click overtime and under overtime we have response time over time by throughput over time and latencies over time so let's see them so we have first response time over time wherein uh, average response time is displayed in millisecond for all of the different transactions and we have the time uh, scale on the x-axis now if you want we can zoom in all of these graphs like this or uh, we can zoom in further I will refresh it to bring it to the initial stage and we can also hide any of the sections so just click on for example registration then this is gone transaction controller this is gone falcon page this is gone then you have only create account being displayed so this makes it easy to visualize only specific uh, sample results following this we have byte throughput over time which is uh, number of bytes per second over period of time and then latencies which would indicate uh, how slow application has been in uh, providing first byte of response uh, for different samples here with respect to the time. Alright, now let's see what other graphs we have. We have throughput graph here and in this we have hits per second which is number of hits per second over the period of time with for given granularity. Then we have quotes per second I'll just expand it. So this is uh, number of uh, responses per second. Then we have number of transactions per second, which is also known as uh, throughput. The throughput is pretty low because we are not really doing a load test here, but uh, uh, we are just running a sample run with uh, uh, constant uh, timers so that we don't overload the application, but we generate the reports anyways. And then we have response time per second and then the latencies versus request okay following this we have another section which is for the response time something the management would be really interested in is the response time distribution or the percentile uh, so what we ha sorry not response time distribution but the response time percentile yeah so herein we can see response times for different samplers be registration welcome or create account page and if you have a look at uh, it is not just till uh, 90 percentile we can also see beyond 90 percentile for example 92 96 and uh, so on up to 99.9 percentile okay so you may usually be asked this question as to okay what is the 90 or 80 percentile and 99.9 percentile then we also have uh, active threads over time we are running this with just one thread so one thread is displayed here then we also have time versus thread which is again just one thread over a period of time for uh, different samplers and then we have response time distribution so here you can see uh, 39 responses for balcon page were between so on so time and 40 responses for create account page which is another sampler were between 500 and 1000 milliseconds and this scale keeps expanding okay so this is the jmeter uh, built-in report available from jmeter 3.0 a really nice fancy report which management would love let's move forward okay so how these uh, reports come in now uh, if you want to see the report uh, generation properties then you can have a look at uh, a new file called report generator dot properties which is available here somewhere yeah this is report generator dot properties yep so if you want to modify any of these property you should copy these properties in user dot properties file and verify it there you should not modify this file itself and then uh, there is a recommendation from jmeter that uh, the error uh, summary table which we saw if you want to have correct 
results therein, then you should also set a property called jmeter save service or version result failure message to true. So it looks like we have come to an end of this session which introduces jmeter uh, dashboard. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and if so then uh, just hit the like button and keep learning till next session. Ciao!